Uh, present day everyone welcome once again to our uh, session for today so as I promised uh, to you class in my in our previous video so today I'm going to show you the solution to that uh, problem example number two that I've given you in our uh, latest video so far so a 13 foot ladder resting on a horizontal ground is leaning against a vertical wall when its base starts to slide away from the wall. By the time the base is 12 feet from the wall, the base is moving at the rate of 5 feet per second. How fast is the top of the ladder sliding down the wall then? How fast is the area of the triangle formed by the ladder? wall and ground changing okay so here's the solution uh, so following the steps or the procedure strategy in solving uh, rated rates problems okay so we start by letting t as the time in seconds that has elapsed since the ladder started to slide down okay so here's the illustration so we have here the wool and this is the ground and this is the ladder okay so the the length of the ladder is 13 so what's the unit is 13 feet okay so x we let x here be the distance okay the x here the distance in in feet of the base of the ladder from the wall at time t so at any time t, at, at instant time t, so the distance of the bottom of the ladder to the wall is x. Okay, then we let y. So what is our y? y it will be the uh, distance in feet also of the top of the ladder from the ground. Okay, so this is our y. So the distance in feet of the top of the ladder, so this is the top of the ladder, from the ground so this is our ground okay at time t so the question now is how fast is the top of the ladder sliding down the wall then so it's when it slides okay so the top also sliding down so how fast is that okay so that's the problem okay so given x equal to 12 feet so that's given in the problem and dx over dt so the rate of this distance x changing with respect to time is equal to 5 feet per second okay so the this one sliding the bottom of the ladder sliding at the rate of 5 feet per second so now we are asked to find the rate of so how fast is the top of the ladder so the rate of the top of the ladder sliding down the wall or that is dy over dt okay then we have here from Pythagorean theorem we have a, a right triangle here so right triangle means this is 90 degrees so we have y x and then from the Pythagorean theorem we have the square of the uh, hypotenuse equal to the sum of the square of the length of the two sides or the two legs or 13 squared equal to y squared plus x squared or x squared plus y squared equal to 13 squared so that's our uh, one of the equations okay so differentiating uh, implicitly so differentiating implicitly means we have to differentiate each of this term on both sides with respect to time so we have here derivative of the first term that is uh, using the power formula that is 2x and multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to time plus 2y okay so this is also power formula so, uh, like this one so you bring down the power then multiplied by the base so 2y times the derivative of y with respect to time and 13 squared here is a constant so when you take the derivative of the constant so that is equal to 0 Okay, so from this equation, we can uh, solve for our 
dy over dt. So we're asked to solve for the dy over dt. So from this equation, if you are going to divide both sides by 2y, so we come up with this, the derivative of y with respect to time is equal to negative. Okay, so this is negative because when you transpose this to other side, so that be, that's, that becomes negative. Okay, so you, you transpose this one to the other side. Okay, so transposing to the other side so that that becomes negative here. Okay, yeah, after that you divide both sides by 2y, okay, the coefficient of dy over dt. So we divide both sides by this. Okay, so on the left side, so this one divide by 2y, so you don't have the coefficient on the left side. But on the right side, you have minus 2x dx over dt divided by 2y, so 2 and Two at the numerator, two at the denominator. That is equal to one. So what is left is only x uh, divided by y, y. So this is negative. Okay. So remember, uh, this is negative. This is negative after uh, transposing it to the right side. So times dx over dt. Okay. So from here, so we are given x equal to twelve feet, and we are also given dx over dt that is five feet per second. So from this given we can now solve for y. So how to solve y? So to solve y, we are going to use this uh, uh, Pythagorean theorem uh, based on the right triangle that we had in the uh, uh, previous slide. So from there, so you can solve for y, which is equal to plus or minus square root of 13 squared minus 12 squared equal to plus and minus 5. Okay, so how did we come up with this? So we just transpose this one to the other side. Okay, so transposing this to the other side. Okay. So you transpose this one, so this becomes 13 squared minus 12 squared. Okay. Then since this is y squared, so taking square root on both sides, so square root of y squared is equal to y. Then square root of the sum or the difference of 13 squared minus this one here. So when you take a uh, square on both sides, so on the right side we have two values, plus and minus. So that's why here, and that's why we have here, plus and minus five. Okay. So what do you think is the answer here? Because we have two values for y. Okay. So from uh, what we have here, so solving for dy over dt. Uh, equal to negative x divided by y times dx over dt. x is already uh, given. And then we have, we have y. Our y is solved here. Okay, so we have this value. Then dx over dt is also given. So substituting all the givens and also the solved uh, uh, parts of the equation. So we come up substituting all those uh, given and also the calculated values. So we get uh, 12 feet per second okay so we have here negative so what does it mean so because the the top of the ladder is sliding down so we have here uh, negative uh, values all right so uh, we can uh, therefore conclude that the top of the ladder is sliding down at the rate of 12 feet per second at the instant in question Okay, so when you do your conclusion here, class, so you don't have to write the negative anymore because uh, there is uh, the word sliding down here. Okay, so that refers to this one. Negative, sliding down. If you are going to change the problem, the situation, like you push the bottom of the, the ladder, so what will happen? The top of the ladder will uh, rise up no, against the wall. So in that case, we have the uh, ladder sliding up so if that is sliding up so you can expect that the sign here is positive okay so do you have any question so I hope you understand this uh, problem class and I hope you practiced practice solving this problem so if there is another uh, problem that is related to this one that will come up at least you know how to answer this Okay, so take note that uh, we have two questions. So the problems uh, throw us two questions. Right? 
So we are just uh, uh, solving A. So now for B, how fast is the area of the triangle formed by the ladder wall and ground changing? Okay, so let's uh, solve the second part of the problem. Okay, so the second part of the problem is how fast is the area of the triangle formed by the ladder wall and ground changing so we're referring to this illustration uh, here all right so given for question b the given 12 feet so we're going to use this given 12 x equal to 12 feet dx over dt equal to 5 feet per second and now we are asked to find the uh, the chains of the area of the triangle formed uh, uh, with this wall, the, the ground, and also the ladder. Okay? So, from the formula of a triangle, we have area is equal to one half times the product of the base and the height. So, in this case, our base is x and the height is y. So, we have area, therefore, is equal to one half times x times y. Okay, now uh, differentiating both sides with respect to time. So we have here a constant. So you have to take the derivative of a with respect to time. So we have derivative of a with respect to time or dA over dt equal to. We have a constant times the these variables here. So product, so constant. Uh, you isolate the constant and take the derivative of the product. So you apply the product rule here. Okay, so x times dy over dt plus y times dx over dt. So this is now our equation for the, uh, the derivative of a or rate of change of the area with respect, with respect to time. Okay, so uh, these are uh, givens and the, we have calculated this one. And this is also uh, calculated and this is given. So substituting all those given and calculated values so therefore uh, derivative of uh, area with respect to time is equal to one half so this one up here and then our x is 12 and uh, dy over dt is minus 12 so plus uh, 5 times 5 so therefore the uh, rate of change of the area is equal to negative 0.5 feet per second okay so, any question? So, now our conclusion is, hence, the area of the triangle formed is decreasing at the rate of one half square foot per second at the instant in question. Okay? So, I hope uh, everything is clear. And I hope that you, you're, you're able to follow class how this uh, problem was uh, solved. All right. And next, you need to practice this uh, third example. And again, in our next video, I will show you the solution to this problem. But I want you to try it, try it first. So example number three, coffee is draining from a conical filter whose height is six inches and whose mouth has 6 inches diameter into a cylindrical coffee pot with a diameter of 6 inches at the rate of 10 cubic inches per minute. How fast is the level in the pot rising when the coffee in the cone is 5, inch or five inches deep? Then how fast is the level in the cone falling then? Okay, so try this number class. Try this example and I will show you the solution uh, in the next video later on. Alright, thank you very much for listening. And once again, uh, stay safe and healthy always. God bless. Bye class.